thought I'd do a fun little project with the uh, LCD display um, using the I, I2C uh, module on the back of it just to make it easier to connect up to the um, Arduino in this case the ESP8266 it doesn't need to be one of these actually it could just be any Arduino but I thought I'd just use this one because it fits on the breadboard quite easily um, I've left the resistor in there which is where I was messing around with it before I started doing this video so um, it's pretty straightforward uh, you just need to connect the display up first that's what I'm going to do anyway um, you've got the, the supply, power supply which can go into 5 volts on the ground and that just goes through onto the ground and VCC on the back of the board and then you've got the um, SDA and SCL on the back of there as well which plug into, in this case when I've um, programmed it to go to D4 and D3 uh, which are um, GPIO 2 and 0 in this case um, I'll actually put a link to the to the sketch once I've uh, done this actually in the in the comments and everything so that you can actually download it if you want to um, and also we need to have another supply from there to the that side of the resistor and we have a, another ground from there to the switch uh, don't actually think I've said what this project is going to be yet which is quite funny so you'll find out um, and then from the other side the resistor there as well goes to the other side of the switch this is so that the switch has got a pull down resistor um, so that the um, GPIO which is the next pin I'm doing is uh, pulled down when you let go of the button otherwise it will remain floating somewhere and doesn't actually switch off so that goes into D2 on this board and then that one goes into there which is the other side of the resistor so it pull down as soon as you let go now then all things connected up I did that quite quickly but um, as I say I'll put a link to a, um, the circuit and also to the sketch that's actually running on here already so if we plug this in hopefully it starts up yep in fact you can actually see what it's saying straight away hopefully uh, it's actually a magic 8 ball script and uh, every time you press the button you get another answer or that's what it's supposed to do it's currently not actually picking another answer at all so uh, that does not work so let's reset it see if it makes any difference it was working earlier and now it really isn't so cannot predict now is pretty much how it's stuck now that's bizarre because that was working yep I can't see why that wouldn't be working uh, I'll actually connect up my computer and actually see what it's doing right now then um, move that out of the way let's get the computer started up there we go and uh, it's obviously something I haven't done right where are we here we go yeah right when I'll have a look at this uh, obviously something I've coded is constantly picking the very first uh, element of the array so um, I'll have a look at that and see what I've done wrong okay so yes uh, I did have it actually connected up wrong probably because of the speed I'm going and probably because of uh, I didn't actually look at what I was doing um, at all I was looking at a picture of what I've done last time but this time now I've got to connect it up right obviously I'll put the right circuit in the uh, in the description and everything um, every time you press the button it picks another answer um, from the eight ball magic eight ball list of answers that you normally get I think there's uh, 20 different re uh, answers in there so uh, it will pick one of those so a little bit of fun um, it's definitely working this time something was, was up with it uh, I think I actually I think the main thing was is I actually connected both sides of the um, switch to the ground which obviously won't help at all 